I'm about to show you with the world's finest safety razor. It says so right here, world's finest safety razor. Yes, I was sent this beautiful world's finest safety razor by Fine Accoutrements, and it's based on a 1930s Gillette new model. See, you can tell those little pegs that stick out of the bottom, very much like a 1930s Gillette razor. And I'm gonna put this up against a 30s uh, Gillette razor in a little while, but not today. Today I'm just gonna shave with it. I got a feather blade in there. And uh, thanks to the folks over at Fine who sent me not only this razor, it came in three different bags, look at this. That's some serious stuff. It came with the two-piece head, one in here, one in here, and then the handle. Now, it, it's a pretty penny. It cost $165. It's made out of marine-grade polished stainless steel, made in China. Uh, the weights are all on there. I won't, you can like pause it if you want to look at the weights, but anyway. So thanks to the folks at Fine. And not only did they send me this, but they sent me their new aftershave that's coming out called Let It Go. Spurs ain't a let it go. You know, some... Uh, Garth Brooks. Anyway, so this is their aftershave. I tried it out a couple of times. I'm going to do it again today. Um, it smells like, they say it smells like leather and talc and diesel. I don't know. Diesel? Like diesel and, you know, like fuel? Well, let's try it out. And um, the uh, shaving cream I'm going to use is the Heritage Hill, the Patriot. And I'm going to lather up with my old favorite, the old West Coast Shaving Jolly Rancher. I haven't done that one in a while. So uh, I took a shower, did my hair. It's kind of, you know, doing what it does. Put some water up on my face. I'm excited about this razor because I haven't tried it yet. I just got it, when did I get it? A uh, couple of days ago? Yeah, a couple of days ago. So it's been sitting there. I've been tempted to try it, but I'm gonna save first impressions for this video. Ah, oh, this stuff smells so good. I can't remember what the, uh, scent structure of the Patriot is, but uh, anything you get from Heritage Hill is gonna be a good shaving soap. So uh, thanks to to them for sending me these fine soaps and to the people at Fine Accoutrements for sending me the Latigo and the world's finest shaving brush. And I got a couple of other things I wanna talk about during this shave. Uh, Barbasol made an announcement on Instagram, sort of a, uh, a teaser, we don't quite know what what they're doing, what they're up to, but I want to show you that in case you don't, in case you're not on Instagram, you know, if you're too old like me to be on Instagram, even though I am on Instagram, and look at this thing lather, woo, I'm getting used to uh, shaving with my, with the little, um, the uh, signature one, and so this one is huge, it feels so big, and I used to think that one was so small, but I think it's a perfect size, this one feels enormous now. <laughs> Funny how your uh, your perceptions can change when you stop using a certain thing and change for another else. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, world's finest. It's heavy. It's uh, solidly built. It's a three-piece, and it looks like a 1930s. It's actually an open comb. You see that? It's got those little raised things there. So, uh, let's see how it goes. Feather blade, a brand new feather blade. See if it feels aggressive or not. Ooh, it's very cold, cold steel, cold stainless steel. I'm gonna warm it up here in some warm water. Although it kind of feels kind of good. We had some rain here today, so it hasn't been blistering hot, but I think we're kind of getting towards the end of all that. All right. It doesn't feel aggressive. I thought it did at first, but it definitely has a different feeling being an open comb razor rather than uh, say like the Rockwell where it's like one solid bar, you see that? Yeah, so this is much more an old style before they realized they could do uh, solid bars. And from what I understand, the reason they did open comb was so that the razor didn't clog up, you know, in the shaving cream. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I very well could be. Oh, this soap smells so good. It's just soapy. Just a nice soapy scent. I got a shout out too. Let me see. Let me pull up my uh, phone here. The shout out is Kalen Neal. Kalen, this is for you. Shout out to Kalen Neal. Thanks for the shout out request. Now, I'm noticing this razor is leaving little streaks of uh, uh, shaving cream behind. 
kind of like more than I'm used to because I don't really shave with open comb razors that much. I think the only one I've got is the uh, is the 1918 Gillette. Oh, and if you hear uh, children fighting and screaming in the background, don't worry about it. School's out. School's out for the day. Now they're fighting over the PS4. <laughs> I cannot tell you how many times we've had to take away and hide the controllers for the PS4 during this past summer. Oh, brothers. Do you all have brothers? I have a younger brother. He's two years younger than me. And uh, we were always just fighting and getting on each other's nerves just for no other reason than to get on each other's nerves, I swear. It's, why is that? It's like just competition, endless competition with your brother. I'm sure sister is probably a little bit different. I do have a sister too. But she's a lot younger. She's in her 20s. Ooh. All right. See, that didn't feel like it was like, like taking everything off, but it's taking everything off. Maybe it's the open comb. I don't know. All right. I think I can smell the Latigo. Yeah, Latigo, uh, like I said, the, the, the scent notes were leather, talc, and diesel. Now, I, I don't get the, the leather or the diesel, but I do get like a dark earthiness, and I definitely get the talc. So it's like a, it's a masculine scent. It's like a cologne scent, but it's not strong. It's not overpowering, but it does last. And speaking of colognes, I was contacted by a fragrance reviewer on YouTube named Mr. Smelly1977. And he's going to send me uh, some of his fragrance, uh, a men's cologne that he created. He's a very funny guy. I'd never heard of him before, but he contacted me on Instagram. And then I watched some of his videos. Mr. Smelly1977. And he does uh, fragrance reviews. Now, I'm not a big fragrance guy, as you guys probably know. The only thing I wear is Dracar Noir, so it'll be interesting to try out uh, his new cologne called Gravitas Pour Um. That's French for for a man, you see? Pour Um. Pour Homie. But anyway, interesting to watch uh, videos of, of uh, subjects that I know nothing about and uh, am not really into, you know, like... But they, you know, when he's talking about all the fragrances, it's like, oh, that sounds interesting. I want to try that out. I want to see what that smells like. That's fascinating. It's kind of like when you uh, are watching videos about people drinking wine or whiskey, and they're telling you all about the, the tasting notes and the overtones and the yada, yada, yada. The stuff that usually makes you go like, really? But then if you really take your time and think about it, that's kind of what I did with this Latigo. After I watched some of his, I was like, okay, I'm going to not just say, oh, it's good. I want to try to think about it more, you know, because I never really think about fragrances. I think about razors and soaps and brushes, but I think those are a little bit more simplistic because there are layers of things like tastings and smellings and fragrances that get deeper and you really have to stop and think about it. So it's interesting. So thanks for contacting me, Mr. Smelly. Dan, ooh, this is doing really well. World's finest safety razor. I had to go back and look at it. All right. Third pass. More hot water. More hair to chill Patriot. Mm, mm, mm. And if you're in the UK and you want to buy some of your shaving products, like West Coast shaving is great for the United States. They're my favorite uh, for like an, you know, go to for everything shaving. But It'd be cost prohibitive to ship to Europe and that part of the world. So executive shaving, my friends over at executive shaving, executive-shaving.co.uk, use the offer code Sinatra5. So if you order from them and you live over in Europe or in that part of the world, you get a discount. Tell them I sent you. <laughs> Dumb. Um, speaking of that, also, remember those sunglasses I was wearing, the Enigma Optics? Well, we're going to be doing a giveaway soon, and you'll win a free pair of one of his sunglasses. And uh, if you don't want to wait for that, and you want to buy something from him, use... There's an offer code for that. Sinatra 10. Sinatra 5 for executive shaving. Sinatra 10 for Enigma Optics. I know, I feel like a shh. I'm just like a businessman all of a sudden. I'm like a walking commercial. I don't mean to be. It just... I happen to remember all this. Well, let me show you this before I continue. 
Barbasol. Look at this. This is an Instagram thing they put up. It said, something. sometimes to move forward, we must first look back. Coming soon, a fresh new take on, quote, unquote, the original. What are they going to be doing? Are they going to be re-releasing something similar to that 1950s brushless Barbasol that I've used before? Look at that. I don't know. I love it. I love it. It's exciting. I said so in the, in the Instagram post, and they uh, they commented they thought I'd be happy about it, thought I would enjoy it. So I don't know when that's coming out or what it is exactly, but they piqued my interest. Cool to see uh, an old company like that embracing embracing its history. I bet they have an archive of old Barbasol cans and tubes of their old products. Do you think they have an archive somewhere, like a little museum? Like, could you go to the Barbasol factory and take a little tour? What I'm saying is, can I go to there and do that? <laughs> Next time I'm in that part of the woods, hopefully I can. You never know. You never know. All right. Getting down to the last few whiskers. This is a great size um, razor. It's, it's got a great weight. It's stainless steel, so it's going to last forever. It's got it's kind of a shorter handle, so you can get your pinky under there. I know when you're watching something like that and you're thinking about it and you haven't done it, you're like, well, I'm not going to put my pinky. But it just kind of happens. You just kind of, the way you're holding it, it just works, you know, when you're holding it in certain ways. Obviously not in the way I'm doing right now. But when they sent this to me, they said uh, that they thought it'd be interesting to put this up against an actual 1930s Gillette. And it does feel very much and looks very much like one of those classic Gillettes from the 1930s. And like I said, 165 bucks, that's a lot of money. But, like I've also said, whenever I talk about expensive razors, this will last you the rest of your life. You'll never buy another one if you don't want to. Of course you will. We all do once you get bit by the bug. You start buying and buying. It's like, um, I was gonna say it's like guitars, but it's not. This is really smooth. The st I just noticed that when I was doing that. It feels very smooth against my skin. There's no drag, you know? The stainless steel is very slick and smooth. I like that. And I don't think that I've got any nicks. Maybe, dang it, i got one little, one tiny nick right there. But it felt effortless. I'm going to do some more shaves with it to give you a real good opinion, but that's kind of my thoughts of shaving with it right now. Interesting. Feels very smooth. Very smooth. That's why I like it. That's why I like doing three passes. But I don't have to tell you that, do I? <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I'm kind of dawdling now. I'm just doo -doo -doo. I don't even have any shaving cream left on my face. I'm just kind of lightly going over the spots I always do. All right, wash it off. Stainless steel. It'll get, I, I can make this thing grungy. It says it's stainless steel, you know, stainless. I bet I can stain it. I'm gonna stain it. I'm gonna stain it. Ice cold water on my face. And then a little bit of the fine latigo. Latigo is a kind of a leather, isn't it? Like used in bronc riding and in that Garth Brooks song. And they make rope or, uh, or, or, you know, like tie downs or something with it. I'm not sure. I know I live in Texas, but I'm not a cowboy. <laughs> All right. Oh, so smooth. So smooth. And I, you know, I, you know what I love about this design? These little bullets, these like, it's like the, uh, the bumpers of a 59 Cadillac, those things sticking out the front. Like uh, the 1950s bras looked like, you know, those bullet bombshell bra. <laughs> That's kind of what that looks like. Anyway, don't mind me. All right, the fine Latigo. Like I said, it's a fresh, clean. I'm getting, I get a lot of talc, like a, like a talcum powder, dryness, and some... Is it a fougere? I don't know. Fougere meaning like an oaky, mossy, ferny, plant, earthy. I'm getting a little bit of earthiness, but I'm getting a little bit more. I'm not getting any citrus or anything. And maybe there's a tiny bit of leather in there. Maybe that's, maybe there's a tiny bit I'm not getting. I don't know. Mm. It is kind of nice. It's not normally a scent that I would use, but uh, I did that thing where that I've suggested before if you're trying out a new uh, fragrance. Um, put it on like an hour before you take a shower. That way you can wash it off if you don't like it. You know, because sometimes when you start using a new scent, it'll give you a headache because it's too new to you. It's like, what is it? I keep smelling myself. 
But anyway, that's good. Oh, it was, um, what did it say it was patterned after? Nize 10, I believe. So, uh, yeah, Nize 10, K-N-I-Z-E 10. It's based on that fragrance. So if you know what that is, and I'm sure, Mr. Smelly, if you're watching, uh, you can tell anybody in the comments what Nize 10 smells like. But that's good. I like it. It's masculine. It's not overpowering. And it lasted a while. Last, last time I wore it. I took a walk afterwards, and I could still smell it when I got back. I hadn't sweated it off. So, but like I said, it's not overpowering. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks to the people at Fine Accoutrements for sending me these to try out. It's always exciting to get a new razor, and is this is one of the world's finest safety razors. <laughs> and thanks also to the people at Heritage Hills who sent me this, and to my friends at Executive Shaving, and all my YouTube viewers and subscribers. I really appreciate you. I want you to know that. So have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you all on Monday. Bye.